Hello, my friends. Welcome to Crojo Corner. My name is Laura. Thank you so much for being here. And if you are watching the replay, thank you so much as well. I really appreciate it. And today we are looking at some crochet patterns from KAME Crochet. Um, she has a lot of, of different kinds of patterns. And uh, I've picked out 40 of them to share with you today. And I will be giving one away at the end of my live. So make sure you stick around. And I'm going to go ahead and start off by greeting everyone in the chat. And then we'll get started looking at the patterns. I hope everyone's having a good day today. And Sanja, I love to crochet, says, hello, sweet lady. Hello, Sanja. Thank you for being here. It's good to see you. Hi, Linda. Square Raid, Square Raid. Love you, Laura. Have a wonderful live. Hugs, hugs, Linda. I hope you have a great vacation, and I hope you have a good evening. And Sierra says, Square Raid, dearest Laura, always thrilled to have you for my afternoon company. Working on my hexicardi today. I put everything on hold to work one up, LMAO. It is so beautiful so far. I am so happy for you and excited. I can't wait to see it, Sierra. And Landscapes Yarn was such an awesome choice. I keep looking at it like, oh my God, it's so pretty. I need to get me some of that. I've been seeing that lately and it looks so pretty. Hi, Roberta. How are you? Thank you for being here. She says, good morning or good afternoon, Laura, coming over from the Square Squad. Thank you so much for being here. Good afternoon to everyone coming in, she says. Hi, Poppy. How are you? She's given us a raid from Ursula's. Hi, Sheila. How are you? Thank you for being here. And Sierra says, this intro always makes me happy, LOL. <laughs> yeah, I think it's cute. Uh, hi, Christine. How are you? Aloha. I hope you're go doing good today. And hi, Cami. How are you? Thank you for being here. It's good to see you. Sierra says, ah, another beautiful top. I Hi, you gorgeous human being. You. Oh, you're so sweet. I made this a couple of years ago. This is um, a poncho. This is a poncho that I made. Um, this is basically, um, I think it's called the Light and Airy Poncho from uh, Triple C, Creatively Created Crochet. But then I did the neckline a little bit thicker and wider, so it kind of hung off the shoulders a little bit. And I just made it a little bit thicker neckline, but it's basically her pattern for the rest of it. So thank you so much for that. And let me see here. Everyone's saying hello. Hi, Dawn. How are you? Thank you for being here. If I miss anybody, I do apologize. I don't mean to. Hi, Jeanette. Thank you for being here. It's good to see you. Hi, Angela. Good to see you. Hi, Nancy. Good to see you. Hello, Joy. Thank you for being here. Good to see you. And everyone's saying hello. Hi, Ursula. I feel so bad for Ursula. She just is going through a hard time with all these load sheddings. She is never having electricity lately. That's got to be terrible. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Thank you for being here. Hi, Becky. She says, hello, Laura, and all you lovely people. Happy Friday. And Sierra says, hi, Mima. And let's see. Everyone's saying hello. <clears throat> Love your top, Laura. Thank you, Jeanette. This is from uh, Dana Triple C. I think it's called the Light and Airy Poncho. I just made the top a little bit thicker. I made it a couple of years ago. I just forgot about it. It was in my closet. Thank you so much, Ursula. Everyone's saying hello. Hi, Susanna. Thank you for being here. Hi, everyone in your chat. All oh, that looks adorable, Laura. Love how it looks with your top underneath. Thank you so much. I love to wear um, tank tops all the time. They're so much, they're just comfortable to me. And let's see, Jeannie Beanie says, good afternoon. I'm knitting this weekend. Stacks of cotton bibs for my brand new grandniece. Oh, that's a great idea. That's awesome. Thank you for being here. Everyone's saying hello. And let me see. Let me get through the chat and we will start looking at our patterns today from KME Crochet. She is awesome. Thank you so much for the super chat, Ursula. I really appreciate that. And... Let's see. This is for you, my friend. Thank 
Thank you, Ursula. I really appreciate that. You're so sweet. And she's saying hello to everyone. Hopefully I didn't miss any comments there. Everyone's saying hi. Let's see here. And Cindy says, I will be doing my best to listen, multitasking too. I've been multitasking all day, doing stuff around the house. And then, oh my gosh, my mom is starting to get dementia. And I'm the only person that's around to um, deal with her and help her. And um, boy, she thought she lost her driver's license. And she doesn't have a birth certificate or social security card. So I was going through that this week. And then today... Um, the lady that does our taxes needed some information, and my mom doesn't have anything in anywhere. Everything is just misplaced. None of her bank statements are together. So I'm trying to tell her what she needs, and she was getting all upset, and I was trying to get ready for my life. So if I'm a little flustered, that is why. Oh, it's so hard. I think that she needs to go to assisted living pretty soon, but she doesn't want to, so that's a whole nother thing. Ronell is here. Hi, Laura and everyone in the chat. Happy Friday. Hello, Ronell. Thank you so much for being here. It's good to see you. And Sonia said, I almost forgot to sit down and watch. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. And um, Jeannie's Beanie says, uh, Lulu, great. Thanks. Sunny in 70s, taking a break inside. Ooh, yeah, it's beautiful out. It's 71 degrees where I am, but I am stranded here at home because... My car wouldn't start yesterday. It needs a new sensor or something. I don't know, fuel pump. I don't even know. So I'm stuck at home for uh, the day. So I think I'm going to organize my yarn. I have yarn in three different places in my house. And I don't have a lot of yarn. I just have a little bit of yarn in three different places, three different shelves. And so I am going to, uh, my daughter's at work all day. My husband's gone to work all day. He's actually working all weekend too, so... Um, so I'm going to try and organize my craft room, yarn room upstairs. This is my office. I just want to have the projects I'm working on down here and all the yarn stored upstairs so we can get it all together. So I'm going to be doing a video on that. So stay tuned for that. Rosie Posey says, hi, Laura. Hi, Rosie. Thank you for being here. Cammie says, I finished shawl number five. Ooh, that's awesome, Cammie. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, Jeannie. I appreciate that. Rosie Posey says, lurking today while I get some chores done. That's okay. Lurking is cool. That sounds wonderful, Genies. It's 74 here, and I'm trying to rest a bit, too. Hi, Laura. I finally caught a, a live again. I've been missing you. I've been missing you, too, Granny. Thank you for being here. And Asia Joe says, hey, Laura and chat. Hope you're all enjoying this day we were given. I sure am. Not the end says, Square Raid. Hello, Crojo and everyone in the chat. Just dropped in for a like and to say hi. Thank you for stopping in, Not the end. It's good to see you, and I appreciate that. Okay, everyone's saying hello. Let me just get through this real quick and then we will get started with our patterns. Make sure you stick around because I am giving away a really pretty pattern today. And um, let's see here. Jennifer says, hello, Laura. Had to refresh PC, so catching up on replay. Be right with you to watch the patterns. Thank you so much for being here, Jennifer. I appreciate that. It is really good to see you. Let's pull up the get started here with our designer spotlight for KME Crochet. She has some really nice stuff. So let's just check this out. <clears throat> so first of all, this is the Waves of Nature tote bag. I think this is so pretty. And this is only about $2.35. And um, it's using worsted weight. This is so cute. Five millimeter hook. Look at that. I just really love that. Do you guys like this bag? I want to make one. I love the blue one. Isn't that pretty? <clears throat> I really love crochet bags. They're so soft. And let's see. Here's another. Ooh. Ooh, that's really pretty. I really enjoy that. So this is called the Waves of Nature tote bag. I really like that. Now, this is gorgeous. Check this out. This is called the... The Ninglore Shrug. And this is using sport weight in a four millimeter hook. And it runs about $3.92. Look at the detail in this. How pretty. I really like that. And look at the middle here. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to go ahead and look at this for a second and then I'll catch up in chat. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, those stitches are beautiful. 
I wonder how this would look in a worsted weight. What did I say this was? Was this sport weight? Yeah, this is sport weight. I wonder. I bet you it would be really squishy in a sport weight yarn. Let me go back to the chat real quick and just make sure that I've said hello to everybody. Yes, please hit the thumbs up. That really helps. I'm under an air quality alert today. Oh, no, Cammy. Do you have asthma or anything, Cammy? And Jeannie's Beanie says, Lulu, either have to slather on the sunscreen or drastically limit sun exposure after radiation. Oh, yeah, that's true. Hi, Amy. How are you? Thank you for being here. It's good to see you. And Cammie says, I love all kinds of bags. Me too. I love bags, and I have a weird addiction to boxes. Anything that's a box, I love. I love wooden boxes. I love cardboard boxes. I have so many cardboard boxes in my basement. Ooh, that is gorgeous, says Ursula. Yes, I agree. What is an air quality alert? I've never heard of it. It's when the air is just like too, um, like it's too hard to breathe for people that have like breathing problems. Um, I think it happens when it might be too humid. I don't have asthma, so I'm not really, I don't really pay attention to that that much. But I think it's like if it's, um, if you have asthma or something. Um, let's see here. Let's just go back and check out some more patterns. These are just great ones. I really love them. So this is an easy one. This is a free pattern alert. This is a cute little Goldberry coffee cup cozy using air and weight and a five millimeter hook. This is really cute and puffy. I love that little design. There's a lot of free patterns that I have to show you guys too. So make sure you pay attention. I'll try and do an alert every time I show a free pattern. If you wanted to grab it down, grab it up, <laughs> grab it down. Goldberry Coffee Cup Cozy is the name of this one. And this is free. And then we have here, this is called the Kathleen Shawl. And this is $2.35 using sport weight and a three and a half millimeter hook. <clears throat> this has a lot of pretty stitches and texture in it. And I really like this color. Isn't that gorgeous? And this one is so pretty. I love the ombre look of that. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's so pretty. And her patterns, I've noticed, are very, very reasonable. Uh, most of them are around $2.35 for her shawls, which is a great deal. Okay, and then we've got an easy little um, headband here. This is uh, $1.31. And look at the cute little stitch she uses on here. It's like a basket weave stitch. I think that's what you call it. And here it is, just a twisted headband. I thought that was really pretty. It's called the Rambina Twisted Headband. So I thought you guys would like that. And this is using a five millimeter hook and Aaron weight yarn. And here we have, this is a free pattern alert. Look at this bag, Cami. This is a Secura market bag, super cute, using DK weight and a four millimeter hook. Isn't that adorable? I love the bottom, how it has a star, almost like a doily in the middle of the bottom. And here it is in orange. And then here it is in green. Oh, I love those colors. Just reminds me of like lemon, lime, and orange. So cute. There you go, lemon, lime, and orange. I called that out, didn't I? Ooh, there it is in cream. And uh, there you go. That is so pretty. I need to make one of those. That'd be great for the beach. And this is a free pattern, like I said, DK weight and a four millimeter hook. Sakura Market Bag. And then we have Texture is Everything, Cal. This is really, really pretty. Now, this one's a little bit more, but it's worth it. It's only $3.25. Look at the beautiful texture on here. This is called the Texture is Everything, Cal. And then here it is in some different colors. I really like those bright colors. This is so pretty. I love texture. Oh, that would be such a pretty baby blanket. Gorgeous. There you go. And then this is using DK weight and a four millimeter hook. 
And then we have a very cute baby set. Now, she has such a wide variety of patterns here. I really enjoyed looking at her at her, at her shop, at all of her patterns. This is only $1.96, and it's using DK weight and a 4 millimeter hook. Look at this sweet sweater. Let me try and uh, go in. This looks like something Emma might like. Cammie, you might want to make this for uh, Emma. Look at how sweet that is. I don't think it would be that hard. The pretty little shell stitches on the sleeves and around the torso. Isn't that so cute? I love that. It's so precious. And let's see. Super cute. And this is called the Yavana Baby Set for $1.96. And let's see here. This is a beautiful wall hanging. Stars and bobbles wall hanging. $2.35. Erin weight, 5 millimeter hook. Look at how pretty this is. This would look great in a whole variety of colors. But here it is up close. I really enjoy that. I love wall hangings. And here are a couple more. It's got some nice little fringe at the bottom, if you can see here. So pretty. Love that. I love that. Let me go back to chat real quick. Oh boy, I'm getting behind. Let's see here. I'm just going to kind of skip over everybody's hellos to each other. And um, let's see, Sierra says, Laura, I am also guilty of the, ooh, that's a good box syndrome. Oh, I know. Every box that's like nice and just like crisp, I'm like, ooh, that's good. Or if it has a nice lid to it, I know. It's just crazy. Amy says, air quality is high allergens and humidity, not good for asthma or eczema people. Okay. That's why I kind of thought it was asthma people. Great bag, says Jennifer. I know. Isn't it cute? I have asthma, so I can't be outside for long periods of time, so I walk around the neighborhood once every couple hours. Oh, that's good. And the exercise is good for you, Cammie. I'm sorry that you have asthma, though. Oh, I love yarn use for the Kathleen shawl. Yes, isn't that pretty? Love those cakes, says Ursula. Hi, my beautiful soul sister, Amy, says Dawn. Oh, that's so sweet. Gorgeous, yes. Hello, everyone. Hi, Melanie. Thank you for being here. It's good to see you. And let's see here. Amy, I have all three allergies, asthma and eczema, says Cammy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, take care, Cammy. We'll pray for you, says Amy. So does my son, Cammy. Poor guy is at work all day, but in the air conditioning. Hi, Sophia from Cactus Craft Cafe. Thank you for being here. We're, we are looking at some uh, patterns from K-A-M-E Crochet. And um, she's the designer spotlight for today. And uh, Ursula says, Christini, this would be a beautiful idea for a bag. Is this what you and V have in mind, the Secura Market bag? And Cammie says, thank you, Amy. I love the bottom design there. Oh, I know. Isn't it pretty? I love that, too. Everyone's saying hello. And let me just catch up. And if anybody wants to drop the link to their channel, just type in the word Crojo Corner, all one word. And Nightbot will drop your link. And if for some reason it doesn't, you guys did it at the same time, just give it a couple seconds and then type it again. Yeah, I didn't know it affected eczema either. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, Ravelry and I will show you some more patterns here. And here we have, this is a really pretty uh, cushion. This is called the Snowberry Cushion Cover. Free pattern alert. This is beautiful. Uh, Aaron weight and a five millimeter hook. Isn't that gorgeous? And I love this one. Ooh, I love that one. It's like so raspberry. It's called Snowberry Cushion Cover. So pretty. So soft looking. Really like that stitch. And that's a free pattern. And then we've got the Ram Rambina Beanie. And this is $3.27. So cute. Red Heart Super Saver Stripes. I believe this is the retro stripe pattern. Um, and a 5 millimeter hook. That's a worsted weight yarn there. Aren't these pretty? 
Ooh, look at all the textures and stuff that she put on here. These are nice. Really nice. Love that. So cute. And yes, Red Heart Super Saver. Yeah, this is a re retro stripe. I really love the texture. Very nice. So this is called the Ram Rambina Beanie. And then here we have a washcloth, but I thought this would make an excellent like dish pad, you know, for when you do the dishes. And this is a free pattern alert. <laughs> Uh, worsted weight yarn and a four and a half millimeter hook. Look at how squishy this is. This would also make a nice pillow pattern, don't you think? Wash, brush, flush. <laughs> yes, please flush. So that's really cute. And that's the Nen, the Nen, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this is the Nen Loth washcloth. And that is a free pattern. Super cute. I need to grab that and put it in my library. And this is about $1.44. I think that's pronounced Maria. Not sure. And this is using Sheep Just Twinkle DK weight and a four millimeter hook. I thought these were super pretty. And you could use these on a blanket. Aren't those pretty? Or you could use them as ornaments. I thought that was nice. You could use them in a, like a, what do you call it? Like a bunting, like a garland kind of a thing. You could hang them from a mobile. You could do all sorts of stuff with these. You could put them on the end of a wind spinner, possibly. So I thought that was pretty. And then here's another shawl. This is gorgeous. This is about $2.35. Fingering weight and a three and a half millimeter hook. This is so pretty. And here are the stitches of close. Pardon me while I get a drink. And make sure you guys stick around because I am giving away a really pretty pattern today. Which I know you will love. And I thought that was really nice. So this is called the Marta Shawl. Fingering weight and a three and a half millimeter hook for $2.35. Let me just go back to chat real quick and catch up so I don't get behind. Let me see here. Did I say hi to you, Poppy? If not, I'm sorry. Hi, Poppy. How are you? It's good to see you. I think I did say hi to you. Um, those are so adorable. I love that pattern, says Cindy. I know. I'm in love with the berry color. I know. Me too. At the Goodwill store I volunteer for has AC on the sales floor, but once you get to working on the floor, it's like the AC is not on and when it's actually working just fine. Ooh, I hate being hot and sweaty. I prefer cooler weather. I'm like, I like fall. Sorry, not much chatting, says Cindy, but watching and thankful to see you here today. I'm having to pop in and out right now while that rainbow pastel color is so pretty. Love it. Thank you for popping in and out and for being here, though, Cindy. I appreciate that. Beautiful hat, says uh, Jennifer. Hi, Tina. How are you? She says, hi, Lauren, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, Camper 14. And uh, Nancy says, those stars are beautiful, aren't they? I thought so, too. Cindy, go ahead on with your life. If you can't chat, don't even think twice not being able to chat with us. I know, right, Cammie? Just listen in if you can. If not, I totally understand. We all have lives outside of YouTube. And let's see, everyone's saying hello. Sanja says, I love the shawl. Thank you. And let's see here. That's pretty, says Tina. Everyone's saying hello. All right, I think I made it to the bottom of the chat. Here we go. Let's go back to Ravelry and continue on our little tour down K-A-M-E crochet. And let's see, what do we have next here? Another bag. We've got the Lossy, is that how you say it? Market bag. And this is about $1.50 using DK weight and a four millimeter hook. I thought this was super cute. And this is looks like it's using some shell stitches here. I like the color, so pretty. I like the pattern, it's really nice as well. 
So I thought that was really nice. And it's at a really good price of $1.50. I mean, you can't beat that with a, with a stick, right? And then we've got the Lassie, Lassie shawl. This is really, really pretty. This is using Sheep Just Whirl. I, you know, those, that brand, the Whirl, it seems like they have just the most beautiful colors. I've never tried it because I don't usually use fingering weight. Actually, I've never used fingering weight. But every time I see a pattern using that yarn, I just fall in love with it. So this is about $2.35. I thought that was so pretty. I love the border that they put on there. Oh, that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And here it is in a cream color. My stomach is growling. I hope you didn't hear that. I need to eat something. That's so pretty. Oh, look at that. I need to try working with uh, thinner yarns and see how I like it. Like three is as skinny as I've gotten. That's just me though. And let's see here. That is using a three and a half millimeter hook and that was fingering weight. And then here's the I Idris shawl. This is usually using sheep just whirl fingering weight and a three and a half millimeter hook. And this is about $2.61. That is so pretty. So lacy and dainty. Look at that. I love the colors. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh my gosh, my stomach is making such loud growling noises. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that yarn. Boy, that's beautiful. So that is about $2.61. And that is the Idris shawl or Idris, I-D-R-I-S. And this is called the Hearts of the Rose Shawl. And this is $2.35, fingering weight, three and a half millimeter hook. Look at the beautiful colors on this. Let me just go back to chat real quick and then we'll go through this one. I hate to get behind. Asia Joe says, hey to anyone I didn't say hi to. Don't mean to be rude. Just on my sixth attempt on this blanket and I cannot mentally do a seventh restart. Oh, girl, that is a lot of stress right there. <laughs> I'd be like, you know what? Time to try another project. <laughs> Cammy says, I have an idea of what I want to make next, but I'm too lazy to go get the yarn to start it. Oh, man, I'm still working on. I have like three blankets on the hook. No, I have my purple chevron blanket on the hook this one still. Then I have my happy blanket with my vintage yarn on the hook. I still haven't done anything with my Sophia's, Sophie's universe. And then I have a baby blanket that I started for some unknown, ungodly reason. And then I have a wrap that I started almost three years ago that I haven't ever finished. Here's a good question. How long is it until a whip turns into an unfinished object. I mean, how long do you have to go without touching it? Is it like, you know, three months? Does it become an unfinished object? Or what would you say? What it, I mean, let me know what you guys think. Cause I'm like, I know like if I haven't touched it in a couple of years, I know it's an unfinished object, but like, what's the cutoff? You know, what, what do you determine the cutoff to be? Uh, Jeannie's Beanie says, fall is my favorite too. Love the wood, heat, crisp air, and hot coffee. Oh yeah, me too. I love fall. I love the colors of fall. I just love just everything about fall. And I love winter. I, I really do. Amy says, hey, Melanie, higher humidity. It sucks moisture out of the skin. Oh, okay. Sanja says, love the bag. I know those bags are pretty. And let me see here. Hello, Janice. How are you? Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. Everyone's saying hello. Amy says, I am the same way, Laura. Below three hurts my wrist for some reason. Oh, I don't know if it hurts or anything. I just feel like it would be tedious. I it prob Anything hurts me, but um, I think that it would be too tedious and I would get um, flustered. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to try it, though. I might like it, you know. I just think it would take a long time to finish as well because, I mean, I like the thicker yarns because then it's just like faster satisfaction. Like I like to see my project grow faster. That's, I think, why I don't do, um, why I'm not really into trying knitting because it takes too long. 
And Melanie thinks the purple is pretty. Uh, Joe says camper 14. I don't make it for far, just a few rows in and I have snagged it, changed ideas. Last time I crocheted unevenly and it was all curvy, LOL. It's giving me practice though. Yes. That's what, when I always try and think like when I have to uh, rip something out, I'm learning something so that I don't repeat the mistake again. You know, that's how you learn is by making mistakes, unfortunately. Hi, Katrina. How are you? Thank you for being here. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing good today, and I hope uh, your little baby girl is as well. And let's see here. Uh, Tina says, Asia Joe, maybe you should search for a tutorial and follow along. That's how I started out and still do many times. Oh, me too. Yes, I love tutorials. I just love that top you're wearing, Laura. Thank you, Wicked Granny. I appreciate that. I made it a few years ago. Uh, Melanie says, going to try working on my Sophia's today. Blankets aren't whips. They are separate. Okay. All right. Well, then I don't have any whips. <laughs> Asia Joe says, oh, I got the pattern down. Just me being particular. Thank you, Camper t Camper 14. I just made up a new word. The word is bougified. Oh, that's a good word, Cammie. I like that. Bougified. I don't call anything an unfinished project. Okay. That's a good. That's good. Yeah, love thread and three weight. I've made a lot of doily, says Melanie. I've never made a doily. I agree, Angela. I figure someday I will finish it. Zach says, hey, Laura and Chad, I'm sorry. I can only stay 15 minutes, then off to work. Well, thank you for popping in, Zach. I really appreciate that. That's a start, Asia. You will get better. You can do it. I have one to frog now, too. Oh, frogging, it just irritates me when I have to frog. I'm just like, all that work for nothing? Okay, now I'm down to the bottom of the chat. Let's hurry up and go back to Ravelry. I do have a pattern to give away today at the end of my live, so make sure you stick around. And if you happen to miss my live that I did on Tuesday, I did give away the secret word for the uh, April giveaway. For April, um, I do have a form that you can fill out with all four of the secret words that I give out on my Tuesday lives. And what I will be giving away are your choice of either a neck light, one of my uh, softbound crochet planners from my website, or a book called uh, The 40 Stash Busting Projects to Crochet. All of those uh, items are listed in the description box below, the links to them. So if you wanted to look at them, you can. But um, if you missed Tuesday's code word, secret word, make sure you go back and watch the replay and put it on your form. So let's go back and look here. This is called the Goldberry Ear Warmer. This is a free pattern, free pattern alert. This is a really pretty ear warmer. Looks easy to make and very textured. This would be a great project for craft shows and stuff like that. It's never too early to start getting ready for those uh, winter craft shows that will be here before you know it and those fall craft shows. And let's see here. Here is called, this is the Azella Shawl. This is $2.35. This is absolutely gorgeous. Fingering weight and a three and a half millimeter hook. I love the pattern of this. Would you consider this like a fillet crochet kind of a thing? I don't know. It's very, very pretty. Love that. So gorgeous. And this is called the Izella Shawl. Gosh, my stomach is making a racket over here. I hope you guys can't hear it. My goodness, this is terrible. Okay, so this is called the Ella Granny Square, and this is a free pattern alert. Watch what is if Ursula blah, blah, if Ursula is still here. Make sure you check these out, Ursula. These are some beautiful granny squares. Look at these pretty flowers. Aren't these beautiful? Ooh, that's pretty in the just the solid white. And these are using the paint box yarns. Here's a close up. And then here's the pink one. So pretty. And this is a free pattern. I hope you guys like that one. This is DK weight in a 3.75 millimeter hook. And then here we go with the Elizabeth Anna shawl. This is $2.35. And this is, let's see, 
Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Look at the texture on there. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Let me uh, just go back to chat and we'll finish that real quick so I don't get behind. Melanie's saying, hi, Zach. Have a good day at work. Uh, Zach says, I'm making a scarf. I sadly had to frog the first one. Oh, bummer. Michelle Morger says, I love working on vintage crochet patterns. Hi, Michelle. Thank you for being here. I love vintage crochet. And Wicked Granny says, Zach, every time will get better and easier. It's called practice. LOL. Yeah, we've all been there. Zach said, I fell asleep during your live Tuesday halfway through it. Oops. Yeah, that happens. That's okay. Amy says, um, I, Jane, to watch the fourth replay for the first word. Oh, okay. Uh, ooh, those would make beautiful pockets for my Hexi Cardi. Ooh, that's a good idea. Oh, I think you said I have to watch the fourth replay for the first word. I gotcha. I didn't understand what you said there at first. I gotcha, Amy. Thank you. And oh, those colors. I know, right, Sanja? So pretty. If you guys haven't given me a thumbs up yet, I would really appreciate it. I gotcha, Amy. Thank you. Okay. Let's let's make it back to Ravelry. So that is so pretty. And this is called the Elizabeth Anna Shawl. And here are some darker colors. Ooh, look at this. I really love that. And here's some even darker. Ooh, nice. So there's that. And then we've got the Elmira scarf. Maybe that's how you say it. I don't know. This is $2.35. And this is using Aaron weight and a five millimeter hook. This is so pretty. Look at that. Is that the star stitch possibly? Maybe. I don't know. Really cool. She has such beautiful patterns. I hope you guys like the patterns I picked out for you today. And this is using Aaron Waite and a five millimeter hook. And then we have an easy soap cozy. This is a uh, free pattern alert here, free pattern alert. And this is a soap cozy. These are great for craft shows. A lot of people like these for a little craft show. Uh, you put them all in a basket with little pieces of soap. It'd be nice to have these if you sold, if you made homemade soaps, you can include one of these in there. So he's, these are very cute and it looks like they're really easy to make and it's a free pattern. There's a lot of free patterns today. So make sure you're, you're paying attention when I say free pattern alert. I believe this is another free pattern here as well. Yep. Free pattern alert. This is a don't waste it beanie. This is using scrap yarn and Aaron weight and a five millimeter hook. This is a really gorgeous beanie here. So pretty. Seems like she likes a lot of texture in her projects. And here we go. Another picture. This is so pretty. And this is um, a free pattern. Don't waste it, Beanie, it's called. And then let's go on down here. We've got a few more patterns to show you. And I will be giving away a free pattern today at the end of my life, so make sure you stick around. This is called the Carne Shawl Fingering Weight and a three and a half millimeter hook. And this is about $2.35 American. Here it is up close. Ooh, I love the baubles. For the border and the little fan stitches aren't those gorgeous i think that's what it's called Ooh, is that pretty here's some more up close look i really love the way the look the look of the bobbles absolutely gorgeous That yarn is so pretty, isn't it? 
But I thought you would like that. And this is a really reasonable price at $2.35. And then we have these beautiful pumpkins. Now, I know it's not pumpkin season, but it will be soon. And this is a free pattern alert. <laughs> Bulky weight yarn and a 5 millimeter hook. You know what these little bumpy pumpkins, you know, they look like gourds almost. We always go to the pumpkin patch, so this looks great. And then they have like the little worry worms coming down as the stem or as the leaves. And she has a stick coming out for the stems. That's so cute. Really love that. I hope you guys like these. I love the colors that she used. She used Sheep Just Chunky Monkey. And that is a free pattern, so I hope you like that. And let's go on here. And here is another uh, free pattern alert. April Flowers Baby Blanket. Now, this one's gorgeous. This is using DK Weight. She used Stylecraft Special Double Knit and a 4 millimeter hook. And let's see. I love to find you guys the free patterns. I try hard. <laughs> I try hard. Sometimes I'm like, oh, no, I forgot to do my patterns. I have to hurry up and uh, pick them out the night before. I try to get them done like a couple days beforehand. And then the night before, I'm like, oh, I forgot to do my patterns. And I have to go look everything up. But I do try and get as many free as I can that are pretty, you know. But this is a gorgeous blanket here. I love the texture on it. Look how pretty that is. I thought you guys would like that. Oh, it's so cute. Just think of all the color combinations you could do with that. Let me get back to my chat real quick. Lots of texture. I know. I love it. She has a lot of texture. I have loved the patterns. I'm so glad, Sanja. Hi, Laura and everyone. Hi, Kim. How are you from Kim's Crochet and Knits? I hope you're doing good today. How you feeling? Everyone's saying hello. I'm just going to kind of skip over everyone's hellos to everyone else. Uh, Asia Joe says, another day full of great patterns. Thanks, Laura. Great extra thanks for the free ones. You are very welcome. And Wicked Granny says, hello. I think I missed your hello earlier. Sorry. Uh, Michelle Morger says, is this just Ravelry or a list that was pre-made? Um, this is Ravelry that I created bundles, and I'm doing a designer spotlight. Every Friday I've been... Um, picking a certain designer and highlighting uh, like 35 to 40 of her patterns and showing them uh, on my lives. And then on Tuesdays, I usually have a category such as like baby blankets or cardigans, um, mandalas I've done. I have a whole list of different ones that I've done on Tuesday and I just curate a, a list of different ones. And I feel like I'm going to sneeze right now. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, <laughs> I keep wanting to sneeze and then it goes away. Sorry about that. Becky D says, loving these patterns, Laura. Thank you, Becky. I'm so glad you do. And I love textured patterns, says Jennifer. Me too. I love a lot of texture. Oh, that's awesome, says Michelle. And Janice is uh, dropping her link, Crojo Corner, all one word. If you want to drop the link to your channel, go ahead and... um. Type out Crojo Corner, all one word, and Nightbot will drop the link for you. And um, you guys can grab each other up and become uh, members of their channel. So let's see. Let's go on to this one. This is beautiful. This is only $3.25. That is very cheap because look at how gorgeous and ornate this blanket is. Isn't this the most beautiful thing? This is called Anna's Tales. And I'm going to give you some more images here. There are a lot of blankets that remind me a lot of like uh, Sophie's Universe with all the different textures and rows and stuff like that. I didn't realize that there were so many. So I hope you guys like this one. I think this is gorgeous. And this is using uh, fingering weight and a three and a half and a three millimeter hook. 
$3.25. And then here is another ear warmer, free pattern alert here. Uh, this is using air and weight and a five millimeter hook. I thought that was gorgeous. This is really nice for craft shows. I love, I love to give that idea as a craft show idea. And let's see, here is the last row we've got, guys. And then we will be doing our giveaway. And this here is about $3.46. This is called the Alima Blanket. And this is using a four millimeter hook and DK weight. This has a lot of pretty uh, texture to it as well. And I love the colors that they chose. Isn't that beautiful? That is a beautiful blanket right there. Oh, I love that hook. That hook is beautiful too. Okay, so there is that. And that is $3.46. And this is called the I Ina blanket, A I N A. Pardon me for mispronouncing if I did. This is two dollars and sixty one cents using fingering weight and a three point seven five millimeter hook. Look at how gorgeous this one is. Look at the texture. These stitches are just phenomenal. And here we go. Here's the whole blanket. I hope you guys like this blanket. I thought it was really pretty. And it's so uh, reasonably priced at $2.61. And then we have this Happy Spring Mandala. I believe I showed this on my Mandala um, uh, live stream that I did a couple of weeks ago. This is $2.55. But in case you missed it, this is using DK weight and a four millimeter hook. This is so pretty to put on your wall. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. Let's zoom in again a little bit. Take a good look at how they did that. And here it is in another color. Oh, it's so pretty. I really enjoy that. So this is the Happy Spring Mandala. And it is only $2.55. I mean, that is a really good deal. And this is called the Elise bag. Here is a free bag pattern for you. Free pattern alert. This is DK weight and a five millimeter hook. I thought that was just beautiful. And they've got it in a few different colors. Here you go. Here's some different colors for you. Isn't that so pretty? And that is a free pattern using DK weight and a five millimeter hook. And then last but not least, we have the Rawi shawl, $2.35 using fingering weight and a three and a half millimeter hook. This is gorgeous. Oh, this, this yarn is just absolutely beautiful. And we will be get, doing a giveaway here in just a minute. So make sure you stick around if you are interested. I thought that was just so pretty. Look at that. She is a great designer. I thought that was gorgeous. So I hope you guys enjoyed these patterns today. And I will be giving away... You can have either your choice of the Waves of Nature tote bag. You can either choose between that one. Or if you prefer, you can choose that or the Elizabeth Anna shawl. Let's see. Which is this one.
So you can have your choice between the bag or the shawl. So I'm going to go ahead and um, let's put this away here. So I hope you guys liked all those patterns. We're getting ready to do the giveaway here. Let me just catch up in chat. Everyone's saying how pretty everything is. Bye, Zach. I hope you have a good day at work today. Thank you for being here. Everyone's saying beautiful. Thank you. Uh, Michelle says, Sophie's Universe was the first crochet pattern I actually finished. Laying on it now. I just used all of my scraps in rainbow order. Oh, I bet you that is gorgeous. And wow, that is a... That is a feat within itself. <laughs> Love that mandala, says Becky, right? Oh, 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 says Sanja. <laughs> Just save that all Ali's bag. So pretty. I know. Isn't it pretty? Great designer choice, says Becky. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed her. Love the waves bag, says Jennifer. Ooh, pretty, pretty choices, says Asia. Thank you. I think the bag is very cute, says Camper14. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put start in the chat. And if you want to choose between the Elizabeth Anna shawl or the Waves of Nature tote, go ahead and put in the word sunshine, S-U-N-S-H-I-N-E, sunshine, because it's very, very sunny today. And if you want to win either the bag or the Elizabeth Anna shawl, type in the word sunshine. And while you are doing that, please refrain from uh, chatting during the giveaway because that kind of messes up the thing. And I will pull up my giveaway tool here. And let's see. I hope everybody's having a good day today. Um, does anybody have any plans for the weekend? I wanted to go to Michigan this weekend. I wanted to go tomorrow because it's supposed to be 73 because we found a couple of new places to go. But now my husband has to work. So that is a bummer. <laughs> that is a bummer. Let's see. Type in the word sunshine if you want to uh, win either the bag or the shawl. And I'm pulling up the giveaway screen as soon as I click the right tab. We'll give it just a couple seconds. And then I'll hit stop. I wonder who's going to win today. And I wonder what they will pick. If you want to uh, have a chance to win the Elizabeth Anna shawl or the Waves of Nature tote, Type in the word sunshine. We got just a couple seconds here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, click stop, and we're going to pick our winner. I'm so grateful for all of you for being here today. It means a lot to me. And I will be back on Tuesday at 1 o'clock Central Standard Time with some more exciting patterns. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click stop in the chat, and let's go ahead and pick our winner here. Let's see who's going to win. I'm going to collect the comments. We've got 22 entries. Let's see who's going to win either the bag or the shawl. Who's going to win? Who's going to win the giveaway today? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Cindy! Awesome. Cindy from Lulu's Treasure Trove, who just got monetized. It must be your lucky, your lucky month. Congratulations to you. I am so excited for you. That is awesome, Cindy. Woohoo! Congratulations! Yay! Uh, <laughs> you created a, you were shouting me out and almost missed the entry. Well, I'm glad you didn't miss because you won, girl. Woohoo! That's awesome. I'm so, I'm so excited for you. Okay, Cindy, so, um, I need you to, um, send me an email to crojocorner at gmail.com and let me know if you would uh like the bag or the shawl and um also let me know what your ravelry username is isn't that awesome i'm so excited for you um and if you need me to show it to you again let me know 
I'm excited for you, Cindy. I know. So did you did you want the Elizabeth Anna shawl or did you want the Waves of Nature tote, Cindy? I'm excited for you. I really am. <laughs> Which one did you want? Did you want the shawl or did you want the bag? You want the tote? Okay. We'll get you the tote. Just send me your uh, Ravelry username, uh, Cindy, to crojocorner at gmail.com. And um, then we'll get that all squared away for you. And um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm totally excited for you. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. I hope you all have a great weekend. I'm going to go ahead and head out of here because I really need to eat some lunch. My stomach is growling like crazy. And um, yeah, I've been doing some really good shorts. And uh, I hope that you will catch them. I happen to get the Easter Bunny was on uh, my street walking around and I happened to catch him the other day. So that was kind of cool. And I'm trying to work a little bit harder on my shorts. So hopefully um, you guys will watch those and uh, just keep your eyes peeled for some new content while I straighten up my yarn. That's my goal for today. After I get off of here, I want to eat something and organize some of my yarn in my different spots and get it all into one room. So I'm going to try and make a video on that too. So I hope you have a great day. Day, everyone. I will talk to you soon. And uh, thank you for being here and spending your time with me. Have a great day. And uh, I'll see you later as soon as I find the ending to this. Bye. <music>